Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a very controversial topic. And the key question of the session is, will AI kill jobs? What do you think? There's been a lot of uh, doom and gloom around AI taking over jobs. And we want to explore today if that's going to be true. So let's start by giving you my own opinion. And the answer to the question, will AI kill jobs, is definitely it will. AI will kill a lot of jobs. And when will this happen? Well, it's already happened. It started. It started many years ago when AI-powered industrial robots took over a lot of manufacturing jobs. And this has been expanding dramatically. So in our view of AI taking over jobs, initially we thought that these were going to be the low-skill jobs that it would first take, uh, including manufacturing jobs. But to our surprise, especially this year, as this year is the year of AI agents, what we're actually seeing are the white collar jobs being lost as well. So this is an announcement from this week. Um, so Google and Microsoft have already cut their workforce and they're mainly cutting um, coders, which would have been the last people would think about being replaced by AI. And then AB IBM, one of the uh, oldest IT companies around, is actually also cutting 8,000 jobs this, just this week. And there's plenty more to come. So which jobs are most affected? And to answer that question, I went to my very good friend, ChatGPT, as I'm sure you all do, and I hope you do. And here's a bit of uh, analysis about which kind of jobs could be most impacted by the AI agents. And that's something we as Potential are working on a lot. So the sales function seems to be one of the functions where it's not gonna be too affected. And in particular here, they're talking about B2B, business to business or enterprise sales, because those are uh, complex and they need a lot of human interactions. So those kind of jobs are you know, safe for now. And actually that's one of the jobs that my first jobs was in this space. So it is dear to my heart. I know how um, you know, important it is. But given our current projects with AI agents, I tend to even disagree a bit with, um, with ChatGPT on this because we're seeing in many implementations that we've had the power of these AI agents in sales. They are amazing uh, in terms of the way that they can understand the customer needs, um, answer questions and so on. But let's say uh, the human element of sales is going to safeguard it a bit. When it comes to marketing, it will be partially, um, you know, uh, marketing jobs will be partially destroyed, especially when it comes to the operations piece, uh, tracking uh, conversions, analytics, all these kind of things could be totally automated by AI agents. And we've already launched many projects uh, along those lines. Um, so a lot of the marketing functions, the traditional marketing functions, also in terms of creating ads, all these things uh, are gonna be quite you know, impacted by uh, the AI. Customer service is a big area of disruption. Many, many jobs are going to be lost in customer service. They already have been. We are deploying AI agents, voice agents in call centers that answer customer questions. They already have the full knowledge base at their finger, you know, at their uh, neurons, um, the digital neurons, and can answer questions. Uh, they don't get mad. They're patient with the customers. Um, very empathetic in terms of how they could be handled. So customer service is one area where you're going to see, you know, nearly complete domination by AI. 
Then I'm gonna skim through these other ones. HR, partially affected human resources. Again, a lot of the operational aspects could be uh, automated uh, in HR. Um, same with business and operational management, you know, in terms of, uh, so all these analytical work um, can be done quite well with AI agents. So anyone who's doing analysis, analytics, um, would be would need to you know move up uh, in their game when it comes to it and sy information systems again an area that we never would have thought earlier that ai would be really targeting this but that's going to be one of the biggest um, uh, areas where jobs will be lost and the example from the ibm article and microsoft and google just proves this um, even in the coming uh, in the last couple of weeks and the coming weeks, you're going to see a lot of these kind of uh, IT companies and companies in general um, getting rid of their uh, IT. So uh, most of the new code now coming into market in potential our company and, you know, large companies everywhere, most of it is written now by AI. By AI. And it's amazing. I mean, what could be done, um, of course, uh, many jobs can be then uh, replaced, uh, even in the information IT, IT space in general, there's a lot of monitoring that takes place. All of that could be uh, taken over by AI because it's much better at monitoring, tracking, etc. The other uh, interesting angle is learning and development. So that's also going to be qu uh, quite aggressively disrupted through um, AI and in particular here when we like we have a couple of experiments going on with personalized learning um, where, where traditional systems and traditional approaches to learning are not really uh, good enough um, when you can personalize the learning for each individual's style uh, performance needs and have it available to them 24 by 7 it's very powerful. It's very hard for um, you know the traditional learning and development system to compete, even and when it comes to the education system, schools and universities. It's gonna be. I mean, they really need to be reimagined for the age of AI because the way that things have been taught in the past is not gonna work as well. Uh, and then when it comes to product and an innovation, there's a lot. We thought that AI isn't creative, but actually, I mean, in terms of a brainstorming companion, in terms of a, uh, um, a system that can uh, evaluate the different options, especially with the deep research and the reasoning aspects, you can come up with amazing um, product and innovation development using these AI tools. So a lot of those jobs will also be uh, um, affected. Then when it comes to strategy and business intelligence, again, when it, anything to do with analytics and intelligence is going to be heavily disrupted. And then government, uh, governance and external affairs in terms of reporting, etc., also affected. And then admin support functions, um, anything that's related to, you know, general tasks like travel booking, scheduling, document handling, all of this will be completely disrupted with AI agents. Uh, a lot of the times we do these functions ourselves, but in many companies, these are done by uh, certain departments and those functions are going to be uh, completely, or will need to be reimagined as well. So that's what's happening today. Um, so this is not really something we're talking about that is uh, far-fetched or out in the future. That's happening today and it's going to just keep on accelerating over the coming months. But what about one year from now? What is the next level of the AI job disruption? It's basically the humanoid robots. These uh, are in production. So you've got the Tesla robot, you've got Figure, you've got many other companies that have created these robots and they are being put currently in production. So uh, at the moment, they're doing a lot of work in uh, manufacturing, but at the same time, uh, they're extending to warehouses um, and you could uh, imagine with these bots and with cars becoming bots themselves, self-driving cars, there's going to be cars and trucks. I mean, you know, transportation sector is going to be huge disrupted 
um, over the coming year or so. And uh, the transportation sec sector in general worldwide is one of the biggest um, uh, biggest employers. It has the most number of people employed in that sector. So that's going to be a huge disruption as robots, uh, self-driving vehicles, drones start to take over the uh, you know delivery, so the uh, manufacturing jobs that are remaining. And as these, um, especially the humanoid robots are very uh, special because they could function as humans. So instead of a, you know, a car having to you know, be on a road, these humans can go everywhere, these humanoids can go everywhere where humans are. And as such can then replace a lot of the jobs that humans can do. The other important thing is that they're all, their intelligence uh, powered by AI is developing all at the same time and across all of them. So each of the millions and soon billions of robots, you know, uh, interacting with the real world is going to feed into this AI algorithm, which makes all of the robots more intelligent. It's a little scary, um, but at the same time, um, this is coming, whether we like it or not. So all of these disruptions are coming. AI will kill jobs. It will kill a lot of jobs and the whole world is getting transformed as uh, you know right in front of our eyes however we have seen this before ai will create new jobs and we've seen it before in uh, other industrial uh, you know ways that have passed you know in the past so you had when the steam engine was invented there were many uh, jobs that were di displaced all over the world when electricity was invented, basically uh, same thing. Lots of jobs were uh, displaced. Same with the internet, and AI is now, you know, coming of age, and it is the fastest of these cycles. That's what is really challenging. So the other cycles have always disrupted um, the industries and lost, made you know, a lot of jobs go away, but they also created a lot of new jobs. So all of these, you could see that the net result of, for example, electricity is that it allowed so many more jobs to be created versus what it destroyed. Uh, when the en uh, steam engine came out, same thing. The internet, same thing. So these waves, even though they disrupt a lot and they ruin uh, and they get, you know, a lot of jobs get, um, you know, killed. However, many more jobs will be created and nothing it's not going to be any different when it comes to AI. In the same way, there will be a lot of jobs uh, that are uh, chained or uh, eliminated completely, um, but many, many new jobs will emerge. The only challenge with AI that is different from previous cycles is that it's happening at a faster rate. So, whereas in the past we had more time to adapt, with this AI wave, we don't have a lot of time to adapt. And here's some of the um, uh, skills that our partners at careerfit.com in the UK uh, have said are important career, you know, for career agility to be able to adapt with these changes um, that are happening. So flexibility, adaptability, resilience, social and emotional intelligence, those are essential skills for everyone to practice and get used to as we adapt to this new world. And I will tell you from my side, uh, one aspect that can help you adapt is become an entrepreneur. Think of what are the things that you can do, even on the side of what you're doing today, which allow you to develop your entrepreneurial skills. The key thing with entrepreneurship is that the bigger the challenge, and we have a lot of challenges, as we saw, a lot of areas that are going to be totally disrupted. But the bigger the challenge, what happens? The opportunities get bigger. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the opportunity. And entrepreneurs are the ones that actually turn these challenges into opportunities. They solve needs. And as such, entrepreneurs are going to have a very good um, opportunity in front of them to adapt to this new world and help the community adapt. And I encourage you again to experiment, 
uh, launch your entrepreneurial venture, um, start integrating AI into your um, workflows, into your business ideas, work with AI to come up with um, opportunities. Uh, and this way you can be well prepared. Entrepreneurs have always throughout history have been able to adapt and actually make use of the opportunities. And now you have this new wave of AI coming in with all of its disruption. The entrepreneurs that can ride this wave are gonna be very successful over the years. Just like Amazon and Google and these companies were successful riding the internet wave. The entrepreneurs that are gonna ride now the AI wave are gonna definitely be successful. And the opportunities are gonna be much bigger because the challenges are much bigger. So experiment, work with AI. From our side, uh, we'll, we encourage you to you know, set up your AI agents. You could try ai.potential.com slash Rachel. Go there and try setting up your own AI agent in minutes. And it gives you an, an idea of what could be done today. And there are lots of things that you could be done. So with these AI agents um, that you know uh, Rachel is supporting, um, we're basically uh, already addressing a lot of these uh, job displacements that we were talking about earlier. So this is not like something that's futuristic. So today you could launch your AI agent and you can connect it and start providing customer service um, to, you, to your customers or to a company's customers. So um, you can uh, launch a, an AI agent voice bot and have it start doing interviews um, for new jobs that you're you know, looking at hiring. Um, so it, you can set up an AI agent as a coach um, to extend your coaching services or your professional services as a consultant. So there's so many opportunities. And this is why I'm, you know, I'd encourage you to start experimenting and try them out just to be comfortable with the opportunity that's ahead of you. So that's it from my side. Um, the world is changing right before our eyes and I encourage you to be ready for the future. There will be a lot of disruption. There will be a lot of doom and gloom uh, sayers out there. However, the opportunities are immense. And if we just approach this with a fresh, positive mindset, we are able to harness amazing opportunities that are coming in front of us um, in the future. That's it from my side for this week. Wish you all the best and uh, look forward to catching up next week.